complexion's just fabulous. Well, thank you. It doesn't have a name. It's just something Hazel mixes up in the blender. <laughs> Hazel? Oh. oh, Deirdre, it's going to be so nice having you and Nancy with us. Thank you, Dorothy. Tell me, what do you think of Nancy? I think she's lovely, and I think you should be very proud of her. Oh, I am. But I'll be honest with you, she's peculiar. She's, um, she's like a stranger to me. We have absolutely no communication between us. The trouble is, she doesn't take the slightest interest in anything I do. Oh, what a scream! It wasn't polite to laugh, but we couldn't help it. You see, she's the strictest teacher in the school, and she tried to pretend nothing was happening, and beads were falling all over the place. <laughs> it must have sounded like popcorn. All of that. Did it run over? Well, no, I just got it in time. I got the bubbles piled so high, I could hardly find the water with my elbow. Sounds wonderful. Oh, sure, I almost got in myself. <laughs> now, you go get yourself a good soak. I'll go down and fix lunch. And you just come down whenever you're ready. I will. And Hazel, thank you. Oh, for Pete's sake, I didn't do anything. And Princess, you know something? I think you and me are going to get along just fine. I thought he was coming right over. Oh, for Pete's sake, give him a chance. I only called him 15 minutes ago. Look, how do I know whether this nephew of yours can bowl anyway? Because I told you so. I coached him myself. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, come on in, Princess. I hope I'm not interrupting. Mother's talking to Uncle George and Aunt Dorothy. Oh, no, you ain't interrupting nothing. I'd like you to meet a friend of mine, Tom Forbes. He has a bowling average of 162. Hello. And this is Nancy Thompson, the sweetest little lady you'll ever meet. Pleased to meet you. Oh, no, don't touch her. <laughs> she just got out of the tub. Look at your hands. Well, excuse me, I've been working on a car. <laughs> Did you put a drop of you-know-what behind your ears? Yes. Tom, close your eyes and take a sniff. Tell me what it reminds you of. The policeman's ball. Right. Oh, I was outstanding that night. George, a three-bedroom house, at the very least. Dorothy, Harry's developed the most dreadful snore. <laughs> and naturally, we want it to be in a good neighborhood. Oh, of course. I have a friend in real estate, and I'm sure he'd be very glad to help out. Well, I'll speak to some of my friends. We're sure to find something. Well, I think it's important for Nancy's sake that there be some nice young people in the yes, area. Yes, she'll want some friends. Well, I was thinking of boys, really. She's reached an age where one of them might become interested in her. And I'd like to feel that he comes from the right kind of family. Nancy, this is my nephew, Eddie Burke. Eddie, I'd like you to meet Nancy Thompson, the Baxter's niece. She's going to be staying with us for a couple of days. Hello. Hello. Make a nice-looking couple, don't they? <laughs> oh, Eddie, I'd like you to meet Tom Forbes. He wants to talk to you about bowling and a tournament. Uh, hello, Mr. Forbes. Hiya, kid. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Hazel says you're pretty good, and we need someone to fill in for us. You gonna be busy Sunday night? Uh, um, no, I guess not. Well, this is big league bowling, you know. There's a trophy at stake. The Monotone Muffler Company Trophy. Oh, it's gorgeous. Looks just like real gold. Yeah, you see, us fellas, we've been bowling together for six years, and we're all pretty good. Myself, well, my average is 162. Ernie's is 158, Harvey's is 156, and Julius is 154. Now, you think you can bowl in that kind of company? Oh, for Pete's sake. Tom, I told you he's good. Yeah? What's your average, kid? Well, 170. 170? 170? Tom, your needle stuck. <laughs> well, look, Eddie, it is Eddie, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, the team's going to practice tonight at 8 o'clock. Could you join us? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, I think so. Fine. You want me to pick you up? No, I have my own car, thank you. He bought it with money he earned doing jobs after school. Terrific kid. <laughs> Well, I gotta run. I'll see you at the bowling center, Eddie. Nice meeting you, young lady. 170. Tom, you're doing it again. I'm sorry, I just can't get over it. That's all. Goodbye. <laughs> you bowl, Nancy? No. I've never even been to a bowling alley. Imagine that, Eddie. She's never been to a bowling alley. Why, Aunt Hazel started me bowling when I was about eight years old. Really? Yes. Imagine she never been to a bowling alley and you're going to a bowling alley tonight. <laughs> Would you like to come with me? I'd just love to come with you. <laughs>